Hey everyone, this is Allie and welcome to The Common Room. Today on my channel, we are going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna be participating in a Harry Potter pin tag called the Lumos pin tag. So for the word Lumos, every letter is associated with something from Harry Potter. So keep watching if you would like to see the pins that I have chosen for this pin tag. So I was tagged by Melissa at Geeking Out with Melly Mel to participate in the Lumos pin tag. Now she has tagged a few other people and I've seen some of their videos already and they have just amazing pins. What the pin tag is, is for every letter of the word Lumos, it is associated with something related to Harry Potter. So for the first letter, which is L, that is going to stand for Long Live the Boy Who Lived. And we are supposed to choose a Harry Potter or Gryffindor pin. Now this was probably the hardest one for me to find a pin for because I'm not a Gryffindor and for some reason I don't have any just Harry Potter pins for the character itself. So I had to do a little bit of digging, but I think that this pin can definitely be associated with Harry himself. So this is a two part pin that is Umbridge's quill from Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix that Harry has to use to write the lines, I must not tell lies. So this is a really cool pin and I purchased this at Universal Studios in Florida. So the first part of the pin is Umbridge's quill itself, which you can see is very pretty, has the silver bottom of the quill, and then it has a real feather on here. And on the back, since I did get this one from Universal, it does have the Wizarding World trademark. And then the second part is the actual little piece of parchment that says, I must not tell lies. And it has the words written out in Harry's blood. Now this one also has the Wizarding World of Harry Potter trademark on the back. And yeah, I just thought, since I don't really have too much Harry related, that Harry definitely had to use this. And so I figured that that would be a good Harry Potter related pin. Now for our next pin, we are going off of the letter U, which is going to stand for Unforgivable Curse. Now this pin is supposed to represent Mad-Eye Moody specifically, or just Defense Against the Dark Arts. Now again, sadly, I do not have a Mad-Eye Moody pin, but we're gonna go another little umbrage route for our Defense Against the Dark Arts pin. We have this pin of Umbridge's brooch that she wears in the Order of the Phoenix. Now this is actually a wizarding trunk pin. You can see on the back of it, it says the wizarding trunk. And this pin is very, very similar to the actual brooch that she wears in the movies. It has this white cat that is surrounded by pink flowers, and it has all these little pearls that wrap around it. It's a very cheerful pin for being for such a terrible person, but that is gonna be my choice for my Defense Against the Dark Arts pin. Now for our next letter, it is M, and it's gonna stand for Magical Creatures. Now this is one of the categories that I actually had a lot of pins to choose from. So I chose this adorable little pin of Picket holding a lock now I think Pickett is just adorable in this pin. This pin actually came from a LitJoy advent calendar. So you can see on the back of it, it says LitJoy on there. And I just think Pickett looks adorable on this pin. He's so cute. And I love that he's holding a little pick with his little hands wrapped around it because we know that he can pick the lock. So that is going to be my choice for magical creatures. Okay, so for the letter O, it stands for Wingardium Leviosa, and it is supposed to be a Hermione pin or a favorite witch pin. Now, the only Hermione pin that I had isn't really related to Hermione itself. It was related to Crookshanks. And I think that even though I love Hermione, I think that I have a different favorite witch from the series. So I am going to be showing a favorite witch pin 
which is going to be my Luna Love Good pin. This is one of my favorite pins that I own because I think it's just beautiful. You can see Luna there in her lion head hat and it has her hair Patronus on there as well. Now this is a pin from the Wizarding Trunk. So you can see the Wizarding Trunk logo on the back. And yeah, you guys, I just, she is probably my favorite witch. And this is one of my favorite pins. I think it is beautiful. And I had to showcase it on here because I'm in love with it. So that's gonna be a favorite witch pin, Luna. All right, so we are on our last letter in the word Lumos, which is going to be S. So this one stands for Show Your House Pride. And I do have a couple of Slytherin pins, but I'm gonna show you my favorite one that I have. So this one I also purchased at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Universal Orlando. And this is my Slytherin Head Girl pin. Of course, I like to think that if I went to Hogwarts, I would have been a head girl. But you can see that it has the green for Slytherin. Now you can get these if you go to Universal, you can get one of these in any of the houses. I actually have a head boy one with yellow for Chris since he is in Hufflepuff. But it's supposed to just look like the badge itself and I thought it was really cool. And then on the back, we do have the Universal Studios and Harry Potter trademark information on there. So yeah, I thought, what better way to show my house pride than with my Slytherin head girl pin. You guys, I had such a fun time doing this pin tag. It's something that I haven't seen personally in the Harry Potter community before. And I thought it was such a good way to show off a few of my pins. I would love to see more of these pin tags come out so I can give you guys even more of the pins that I have in my collection. So I definitely wanna thank Melissa at Geeking Out with Melly Mel. This was a fantastic idea. And if you tag me in another one, I will definitely do it. Now, if you would like to see more videos of the Lumos pin tag, you can search the hashtag on YouTube. I know that there's a few other videos that have already been put up. Of course, there is a video by Melissa at Geeking Out with Melly Mel. And then my friend Leanda at Leanda Brooks has also put out a video. But there's more than just those two, so definitely take a look and you'll see a couple other videos from other YouTubers in the Harry Potter community. Now, I would love to hear your comments on this specific type of video. If you would like to see more pin tags like this, definitely let me know because I think it would just be a really fun thing to do. And also let me know which of my pins you thought associated best with the Harry Potter pin tag. Now, one thing with the pin tag is I am supposed to tag other creators to show their pins as well. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I don't have that many YouTubers that I know personally, and I think they've all already been tagged already. So, Gryffindor Bookworm, if you haven't been tagged yet, I'm nominating you. But I am also going to tag my friend Joe, who you can find under Joe Weasley on TikTok, and also my friend Hector. Now, he does have a YouTube channel that he just started, but you can also find him on My Harry Potter Corner on Instagram. So I am tagging all three of you for the Lumos pin tag. As always, guys, thank you for watching. If you would like to see more videos related to Harry Potter and the Wizarding World, feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you next time in the comment room.